Hello everyone, today we are resuming work on the Clone Gaming Snowy Bunker Rebound. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do, open this up and go to the save slot. And I made some a, a few minor changes off camera. Nothing like mainly just changes in painting painting and some small minor bits of logic. Nothing very important though. Um so I'm thinking we revise some of this UI. Um so here's the is weather thing. Um, it's connected down here. This is weather correct because it has to be sensor, nothing, a copy. Okay, so that's for the weather. So I'm just gonna check that. No, that's for the weather. This, this is the compass. Okay, we already got, we got a compass already. So just to clear up some logic, we're gonna get rid of this. This not necessary. We already have one. Or if we do need it, we already you can use a smaller display. That's for weather, so that'll be we can that can stay. Uh, what's this for? This is for a map, which we I think we do have access to in Kermode anyways. So I, I don't really think this is necessary, but we'll leave it for now. These things this is for cameras front and back. Which I guess makes sense, but I think we can move those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this, cut that out, drag this over here, paste that, merge it. Then we're gonna place two more displays right next to it, and these are gonna go to our cameras. And now we can get rid of these. The reason why I wanted to get rid of those is they were just really far over, and I feel like it'd be better to have them all in just one section and to have those turned on. So we'll just get our constant on signal, drag that to these, and also include electricity. Make sure everything has it. Yes, it does. That should be working. The only issue that this thing might have is you may not be able to see all the cameras clearly. You can see them. You can see them good enough. Yeah, you can see them good enough. If we, if I did actually um, move these, I might probably put them in the extra security room though. These are the engine stats, right? The bat battery, the temperature, and the RPS. Okay, right off the bat, we can get rid of those. This is the battery value. This is one of the ones we need because we want to see our battery make sure it's still reasonable right next thing we want is for fuel um what's this this is for the tanks yeah okay that's for the tanks this is going to be for fuel um and then in here we should have a fluid meter somewhere in this fuel tank where is the i think i think this is it nope oh, where's the where's the fuel Let's just find the fuel. It's up down here. Alright. Fuel. Down, down, down. Into here. And into here. No leaks up into there. No unnecessary blocks. Making this more full than it should be. And this is a fluid sensor. We're going to move this down to the bottom. Right back here. Um, back here should be pretty safe. Wait, what? Oh, this is a fluid spawner. We need a fluid meter. So where is that? We're gonna place that right next to that too. Delete. And liquid level. There we go. You can go straight to the fuel value right there. So what's this? Magnet sink surface. Okay, I'm thinking we can probably put these into a into a couple of hotkeys. Uh, okay. Are these hotkeys being used for anything? No, hotkeys are very underutilized. That's disconnected. We're gonna have to reconnect that. Hockey one, sink. Hockey two. Surface Megals. Alright. So, where does this go? Let's go to the hatches on the bottom. So let's override all of that. All those buttons are useless. That surface that'll be for pumps. I found a glitched pump on the workshop that I might actually swap all these out for. To just set the way I can make this more efficient. Alright, that's that. So both of those are useless, and now we can go down to here, and three, and then we can try and find the Megals. But I don't think they're here anymore. Right, because we got 10 tracks now that anchor us to the bottom. Yes, we don't even need a Megal button, which is nice, so we will get rid of that completely. And we're gonna eliminate all of these buttons, like so. This is the starter. It's the throttle. What is this? Spotlights. Yeah, that's fine. What is this for? Foghorn. Okay. We're just gonna put that here instead. Make sure those match up. Good. We're gonna hook both of these up. 
this that way. It actually has a use and is actually being used for something. I'm gonna label that Foghorn. This is a pilot seat, right? Which technically isn't even necessary. And this is now just being used for something, which doesn't look like they are. So we can delete that. We can also delete this. Um, and we, don't, we also don't even really need a map either. A map is kind of just a waste of space. Let's also put this dial, or whatever this is, meter, over here with the rest of our values. Just so they're all nice and organized in on one place. Uh, so they're not halfway across the room, they're all nice and organized for the pilot to see. I think if we're going to have security cameras, we're going to need a special room for that. Because I really don't want to have like cameras up here in the bridge. So I think that's what this room here is going to be for. So it's just going to be a security room. How many cameras do we actually need? So far just two. We're just going to get some three two by threes and no, three by twos. Those even exist? No they don't. Okay so let's do three by threes. That'll work. And we'll stick those both. Actually we don't even need them that, that big. We can just do, no we want, no we'll do 2x2s, two two, so that'll definitely be good. My only concern is that this is just going to look really stupid up here, um, and just not like be too high. I mean they could, yeah, no that's perfect actually. And then what I just want to do, so I don't really want to be simple with this, I don't want to just, wanna just have them flat on the wall, that's boring. We're going to get a pivot, if I can do this right, and this pivot. Let's go one more block down. Okay. Now we're going to put these monitors. Because we want this to go into the wall. That's too low. And we're just going to do that. We'll put several more. But for right now, this will be fine. And we're just going to do that. We're going to delete those. Then we're going to see if this constant number value fits it. Nope, it does not. So we're going to take another one. Place it up there. Label it first. Do what I usually do, 0 0.5, and then just drag this over here. This is what you can do, by the way, if you want. Ain't like things that are blocks and screens that are angled. Yeah, almost perfect. Just a little angled for my liking. So we'll decrease that to like 0 0.4 or something like that. We can teleport in here. Okay, there we go. 0 0.4, nope, still too far. It also might be that we just have to move it up one as well. 0 0.3 should be good. If not, then we just need to... Yeah, that's a lot better. I think we just need to move it up by one though, because that's a little low. Or at least we're just gonna we're gonna hook that up. Constant on to going to all of those. Meaning we're gonna want is a view from out outside and then a view from inside. And now we can get rid of these. Because the only thing this is for is for weather. We've hooked that up, which is good. So that should be giving values. It is okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's gonna wrap it up. See ya, bye.